Hey guys, and welcome back to Femrear Canine Training. And today we are out in the very rare, glorious English sunshine. And we're doing a little bit of work with Riley, the seven month old working Labrador puppy. And we're having tons of fun. And we're at the stage now where we're really starting to level things up into the advanced stages of canine companionship. And a lot of people are starting to see Riley and have their mind blown about how well-trained, well-behaved, well-mannered and well-socialized she is and asking the questions of how can I make my puppy be as good as Riley is at such a young age. And I thought this would be an excellent opportunity to talk about the three things that you must be focusing on if you want to have a puppy that is as superb as Riley here is. So then let's dive into it. And the first thing is around socialization. You must be socializing your puppies to extremely high standards. Socialization is all about getting them out into the wide world and desensitizing any potential triggers that might create a negative behavior or negative response in the dog's mind. The more sight, sounds and smells that we socialize our puppies to, the better able they're to remain calm, well-mannered, but most importantly, it gives them easier ways or an easier job of looking up to us for guidance and direction. The less phased by something a dog is, the less bothered by something they are, the easier they'll find it to look up to us for guidance and direction when we ask them to. So the second thing that you need to focus on if you want to have a puppy be as wonderful as Riley here is, is around manners. Now, too many people focus on the third element of training a dog, and we'll get to that in a minute, but they don't think about socialization and they definitely don't think about manners. You can have a dog that can do all the tricks in the world. They can be as well trained as you want them to be in terms of walking beautifully to heel and coming back to you when they ask, but if they jump up everybody that they meet, if they're knocking the food out of your hands before you get into it, if they're eating the food off your surfaces, kitchen countertops, if they're barking at everybody that they meet, if they're being just generally obnoxious and displaying bad manners, then there's no amount of obedience training that can help them be a perfect canine companion. I always say I would rather a dog that is well socialized and well mannered than a dog that can do a thousand different tricks because the tricks can come much, much easier once you have good socialization and good manners built on the foundations of leadership and the relationship that that informs with your new puppy. Now then guys, before we jump into the third thing that I think is incredibly important in being able to have a dog be as wonderful as Riley here is, I just wanted to let you know if you've got any questions whatsoever about how you can train your puppy to be perfect canine companions, maybe after you watch this video it's left you with more questions than you had before you started the video, then make sure you come over to our Instagram, at Femre Canine Leaders, drop us a comment, drop us a DM, and we do everything possible to answer every single comment and DM that comes through so that we can help you become high-level canine leaders that are able to raise perfect canine companions. So then, we've talked about the importance of socialization with your puppy. We've talked about the importance of ensuring that your puppy has excellent manners. And now, we can talk about the third part of having a perfect puppy. And this is the thing that most people think about when you talk about training a puppy, and that is obedience. Now, for me, in my opinion, you don't need tons of different tricks. I think that you need just a handful of obedience commands to allow your dog to be a perfect canine companion. The first one is what so many people are incredibly jealous of when they see me walking and working with puppies so young and that is having them walk beautifully to heel on a loose lead by your left hand side. The next thing is around having them be able to sit and stay. Sit and stay allows manners to become easy because instead of them lunging at you and taking the food out of the bowl before it even touches the floor, we can use our sit, stay, put the food down, and then they have to wait until we allow them to break for the food. So sit, stay, and break are three incredible things that you can do in the realms of obedience to help have a perfect canine companion. Then, walking beautifully to heel, and last but not least, is about recall and having the dog be able to come back to you whenever you want, so that when we're out in the beautiful countryside like this, which is exactly what I'm about to do as soon as we wrap this video up, is we can let Riley run and be a dog burn off that excess energy, give them plenty of exercise and the freedom to do so and to be a dog with the knowledge and the success that when we ask them to come back to us, they know that they absolutely must do that. So that's my three steps to perfect puppies. Excellent manners, 
wonderful socialization and ensuring that you have those fundamentals of obedience and you too can have a dog just as good as Riley. Now remember, if you've got any questions, come and ask us over on at Fenrir Canine Leaders and I can't wait to see you on the next video here on the Fenrir Canine Training Channel.